The Yasa type motor concept or yokeless and segmented armature motor is currently in development by multiple companies because of its low speed, high torque, and low mass characteristics. The idea behind the Yasa motor is that each stator segment can be built separately and contains a non-shared ferrite core. The use of a non-shared ferrite core between coils in an axial flux motor allows the use of grain-oriented electrical steels in the stator teeth, causing the total saturation currents to get higher and stator losses to decrease. The yokeless design is characterized by its shorter flux path. Hence the flux go through the stator into the rotor and directly back into the adjacent stators. The axial flux Yasa type motor has several advantages in its structure, making it a preferred choice currently under development by a multiple company. Here are several advantages of this motor structure. 1. Low speed high torque. The axial flux Yasa type motor exhibits the characteristic of low speed high torque allowing it to generate larger torque at low speed. This feature makes it particularly suitable for applications that require high starting torque, such as the startup process of electric vehicles. 2. Low mass. The motor structure adopts a segmented subset electric machine design, where each stator segment can be built separately with an independent non-shared ferrite core. This design reduces the overall mass of the motor, making it lightweight. 3. High Efficiency The axial flux as a type motor utilizes ferrite materials and non-shared ferrite cores between independent stator segments. This allows the use of grain-oriented electrical steels in the stator teeth, further increasing magnetic flux density and efficiency. In conclusion, the axial flux as a type motor offers advantages such as low speed, high torque, lightweight construction, and high efficiency. These features make it an excellent choice for applications in electric vehicles, wheel hub motors, and other related fields. Let's now try using Yensis Maxwell to simulate this motor. After importing the 3D CAD file into the software, we can start organizing and setting up materials to prepare for the simulation. Let's start by setting the stator coils to be made of copper wire material. This step involves configuring the magnet material and polarity. Setting the material for the rotor back ironing and stator. Setting the entire rotor space as man. This step is to set the number of turns for each coil winding group.
distribute the coils with the set number of turns to each phase's coil winding group. Set the time for analytical calculations. Set up the mesh segmentation for each component. Once each stop has been properly configured, you can begin the analysis and calculations for the simulation.
After the analysis is completed, we can begin to observe and study the performance of this motor simulation analysis. The figure above illustrates the saturation of the motor stator core at full load. The flux density magnitude in the stator cores reaches almost 2.5 tesla, thanks to the use of grain-oriented electrical seals, which are essential for a motor of this size. Under a free rotation load, the magnetic field saturation depicted is achieved. The figure above demonstrates the flux coupling between both rotors and the strength of this coupling under no load. Under no load conditions, after the motor stabilizes its speed, the current is very low, almost close to zero. This indicates that the efficiency of this type of motor is actually very high. Free rotation losses are smaller compared to the reluctance to rotation at full load which is advantageous for electric vehicles as free rotation losses impact the vehicle's range.